English, please. Let's begin. <laughs> and then I never played any other Pokemon games except for Snap and a little stadium. Hello there. Glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. Are you telling me this guy doesn't even have a degree? That's a cube bone. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. And if you want to know how people tend to interact with these Pokemon, don't go to Tumblr. That is not sanctioned artwork of Nintendo's favorite media property. Now, why don't you tell me about yourself? What do you look like? Um, top left, by the way. And how about a name, hmm? One, 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 one. So I'm not used to single Joy-Con setup. Um, how you use the right stick. All right, well, when you're playing Pokemon, you got no choice. You gotta be Gary, dude. If only to appease Daniel. How the, am I supposed to turn my right Joy-Con sideways for this? I don't understand. This boy here is your friend and rival who's grown up right next door to you. What's his name now? You know it's gotta be Daniel. Absolutely true. Something about this guy's outfit is freaking me out. I think it's the haircut. Like, when when the guys have the haircut where, like, the front of the hair pokes up, that's one thing. But when the back of the hair pokes up, something's gone wrong. Hmm, I see. His name is Daniel. Yo, mispronounce this. Thank you for the gifted subs. Gary, my boy! Your very own Pokemon tale is about to unfold! Yes, a world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go, let's go. It's a little too wholesome for my typical brand, but... I'm already familiar with this part of the game because uh, there's a bald dude sitting on a bed and people go, hey, I found you in Pokemon and then it like a thousand times. Right, you gotta use the right stick. Dude, I don't... I Get it out of this freaking controller. Then we, I, I don't know how we're supposed to hold it. It's like a one-handed operation here. It's a fluffy Pikachu plush. There's an email from Daniel. Hey Gary, so here's what you need to know as a trainer. Press the A button, you can talk to all kinds of people. And if you tilt the control stick more, you can run. Plus, if you open up the main menu by pressing the X button, you can save your progress. Absolutely correct. Thanks, Dan. Much appreciated. As the most helpful <clears throat> and, uh, honestly, coherent correspondence I've ever received from my friend Dan. It's a Nintendo Switch. How many Pokemon are there in the world? Okay, we're not doing a 100% run. Let's be realistic. I'm coming up! Up and at him! <laughs> Morning, Gary. <laughs> What's going on? You got one weird look on your face. Aw, oh, never mind that. I couldn't wait any longer, so I came to get you. Today's finally the big day. We're finally going to get our first Pokemon from Professor Oak and become real trainers. How'd you get into my house, dude? I got a smart lock. Yeah, I read my first thing I do when I wake up is I check the email. I'm going to book it to Professor Oak's lab, so see you there. Check the wire. <laughs> Yo, what's mom watching? A movie? Four boys walking down a set of railroad tracks. Yo, it's uh, Stand By Me. Can't sneak that by me. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Off you go to Professor Oak's lab. Daniel asked the professor to give the two of you Pokemon on your own, didn't he? Alright, well. 
It's a rhetorical question, I suppose. It's Team Unity. Four boys on the railroad. The heck? It looks... We, we live in... Tzatziki? I thought this was Pallet Town, dude. No, this is... Sorry. Canonically, Pokemon takes place in Canada. Because nobody locks their doors, according to Michael Moore. You can't read this... Oh, they thought of everything, dude. Oak Pokemon Research Lab. Yo, it's bumping in here. Oh, Gary, Professor Oak is in here. Do you think those Pokeballs hold the Pokemon you and I are supposed to get? I can't wait to get mine. Well, one of them's missing, dog. What happened to the middle child? It's a Pokeball. It's a Pokeball. It's a picture of Professor Oak. Oh, did the, what are you looking at the microscope for, dude? It's a scale. There are Pokeballs in a mysterious machine. Gary, where's your uncle? Is it like, oh, is it storytelling? I leave and he comes back in? You gotta go into the tall grass. That's right. Dude, it's been a, it's been a long time since I was the world's number eight Pokemon speedrunner. Sorry, I'm tilting the control stick to run. Well, my good Pidgey, thanks for the help. <laughs> Yo, it's Bran! The three Pidgey Raven. I think I understand you all a bit better now, thanks to this. Ah, if it isn't Gary! Oh. Pardon the green sea. Of course, I promised to give you and Daniel your Pokemon today, didn't I? Well, in that case, why don't we head over to... Hmm? Oh no, dude, it's imprinted. Oh, you encountered a wild Pikachu. My, my, I surely wouldn't have expected a Pikachu to appear around here. I mean, you don't even... You don't see those until you get to LT Surge, dude. But since the opportunity has presented itself, why don't we practice some Pokemon catching? You just have to throw out your Pokeball and try to land it on a wild Pokemon for the chance to catch it. Kate's gonna love this, by the way. Because if I get good at this, maybe I can help use her second phone to catch uh, the legendary Pokemon. With your Joy-Con pointing at the screen, press the A button to ready a Pokeball. Okay. It's done. You can throw your Pokeball by waving the Joy-Con. Just don't forget your surroundings. Okay, you know what? That was, I didn't think that the gyroscope was good enough. You gotta wave the Joy-Con like, you gotta go like this. First, you gotta get ready. Then... Yo, don't... This is a game for 10 year olds. Don't make me laugh. Sorry, it bounced. <laughs> you gotta throw it harder. Alright. Alright, I'm... So I think I, I might not have the ideal setup here for how to catch Pokemon on a monitor that's uh, 35 degrees to my left. He's done it. Alright, you caught a Pikachu. This animal belongs to me now. I keep my best friend in a ball with a 12-inch diameter. That was a pretty fine performance for a first-timer, my boy. Why don't you pick up that Pokeball and give the Pikachu you caught a name? What in the... Oh, that's right! 
It rebels. There are no strings on me. Hey, wait, come back. Professor Oak, those Pokeballs, I swear there were only two a second ago, but now there are three. A perfectly reasonable reaction, my boy. You see, one of them is a Pikachu that Gary caught just now. So wait, Gary, you caught it yourself? Yo, this is a sad story. I've never seen that happen before. Ho, 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 how interesting. Also, Merry Christmas. Well, my boy, this is it. Take that Pokeball and keep good hold of it this time. He's the chosen one. He doesn't even know that I'm the one who put him in the ball in the first place. Pikachu, Pikachu became your Pokemon. Suck on that, Dan. Hmm, what a strange Pokemon indeed. It sure doesn't seem to like staying in one place, but it looks as though it's taking a shine to you, Gary. Why not give it a name? Is the easiest task in the world. First Pokemon... He refuses to stay where he belongs. He follows you around. He's cute, won't stop making noise. 100% chance that's Aruka. She, whatever, dude. It's Pokemon. Professor, I choose this one. I swear to God, if you take a friggin' Squirtle. Daniel got an E. Okay, alright, alright. I'll take this one, then. It's a Pokeball. Professor Oak, excuse me? It's really cute. Eevee's just what I wanted. For a new trainer to catch their... Okay, cool, but like... Yo. What's the third Pokemon? Is it a Gyarados? Oh, just one more thing. Now that you two are set, now I'd like to ask your help with something. Take this with you on your journey. Hey, can you write my textbook for me? I'm an adjunct professor at Pallet Town University. This is the Pokedex I designed. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It makes an entry for each. It's an extremely high-tech tool for 1998. Gary and Daniel, I want you each to take one with you. He's done it. Yeah, yeah. No, it's all good. That, yep. He's too old, can't get around anymore. Plus he's got uh, hair like a freaking radish. That's why I want you young trainers to fulfill my dream for me. That's right, we live in a world where a 55 year old is less capable than a pair of 10 year olds. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. A Pokedex, huh? We're gonna meet so many Pokemon, this keeps getting better and better. I'm sad now right now. Gary, you should do the same, if you think you're ready, that is. Chad, this is bullshit. Look. I love my Pikachu, don't get me wrong, but what the hell, dude? I caught a Pokemon from the wild. Gary got one from the library. Where the hell is my extra Pokemon? That's messed up, dude. I earned this Pokemon. Oh, well, I'll never see you again, son. Oh, how cute. This is the one you got from the professor? What? You caught it yourself? That's amazing. So where's your second one? What should I call your new friend? Ruka? It's a lovely Pokemon. Pikachu. My, how energetic. <laughs> I suppose that means you two will be setting off on an adventure today, right? I thought this day might come soon, so I planned ahead and got this for you. You got a town map from Mom. You put the town map in your bag. By using that town map in your bag, you'll always know exactly where you are. Safe travels, dear. You and Ruka be good to each other. And that's the last time we ever saw her. Things were different in the 90s, dude. 
technology is incredible. Now you can connect your smartphone to your game console and send data between them. I'm raising Pokemon too. When they get strong, they'll be able to protect me. Oh, jeez. I don't know if I want to know what her origin story is. Round one, dude. I recognize all of the music. Yo, it's a Rattata. Get dusted. <laughs> what the heck do you do? You go into your bag. You, you you get ready. We don't we don't have random battles anymore. We just catch the Pokemon. Rattata, you he tried to bite me. Don't go into the bag. You go... There you go. Get ready. Interface. Hard to understand. Oh, you son of a bitch. You gotta hit A every time. Just in case you don't want to spend your 50 gil. You gotta hit B. You gotta hit B while you're catching... Easiest task in the world. Alright, Kate's... Kate's gonna play some uh, Route 1 theme. Alright, here she goes. One second, I added a Rattata to my Pokedex. Is a mouse Pokemon? Yo, it's it's the shortest and heaviest Rattata of all time. He's chonky. Okay. <laughs> Why I didn't want the Pidgey to fly away. I encountered a wild Pidgey in the middle of the song. What am I supposed to do? You, you ran into him. I don't know. They're on limited supply. <laughs> I caught a Pidgey. Yo, I'm getting pretty good. You gotta shake the ball. You gotta shake the ball? What does that mean? Pidgey's data will be added to the Pokedex. Is a tiny bird Pokemon? Alright, so we only battle at gyms or at NPCs. Is that the case? Like this nerd? See those ledges along the road? It's a bit scary, but you can hop down from them. My god, he's absolutely correct. What's going on over here? Whoa! Whoa! Did you hear that? <laughs> it's a scary game. Oh, is this guy a little uh, freaking oddish over here? Look, I'm not gonna catch them all necessarily. Yo, cool it, brother. You gotta shake the ball, apparently. Easiest catch of my life. I'm not grinding shinies either. I'll tell you, I'm not out here playing 60 hours of Pokemon Let's Go uh, Pokemon uh, Pikachu. Unless, unless it starts to grab me, and I'm scared if it does. But this is really, it's a prelude for, uh, yo, weed Pokemon. Can I get some Sig Rips in chat, please? Um, thank you, thank you. Hey, get out of here. It's a prelude for Sword and Shield, is what I mean to say. Okay, there you go. You got it. Wait, wait. Dusted. The thing is, I know all these Pokemon. And in the first gen, they were like, cool, dude. They were, it's a bird Pokemon. Who cares, right? It's a mouse Pokemon. It's a, you know, rock Pokemon. There's uh, Pokemon in, in the new gens are like, hey, check it out. It's a nose. It's a garbage can. It's a refrigerator. So I, like, I have no idea what will befall me when we get to that point. Yeah, this one's just a big pile of garbage. Yo! What happened? Get out! What? I 
I don't even understand what... Why... Why does this one go 90 degrees to the side? I don't want... I guess I should just get used to running away, but I never run away from a fight. I'm throwing them forward, dude! <laughs> I don't want motion controls. Just let me... I just want to press the... It's based on when you click get ready. Okay, thank you. This is hell, dude. I grew up in the Nintendo Wii generation. Get me out of here. How is this possible? I swear I'm going straight ahead. No, get what's your problem now? Ruka found something in the plants. You got a raspberry from Ruka. <laughs> oh, far story. Thank you. No, you get it. You got a pretty sweet Pokemon with you. I'll bring along my favorite Pokemon later, so you better battle me when I do. Yeah, whatever. You want to battle me? 50 bucks. Viridian City. Trainer tips. If you run out of Pokeballs, you can buy more at the Poke Mart. The heck? Oh, so you're working on a Pokedex. You'll do well to stock up a Pokeball instead of Pokemart. Oh, really? These Pokeballs you've got. You have Pokemon, don't you? It's great that you can carry and use your Pokemon anywhere. We need cut. We need cut. I'm familiar. You need cut to get past these guys? Is it? I. My brain is telling me you go to the left, Daniel shows up. And he goes like, hey, did you beat your first Pokemon trainer? I can't remember. It's been a while, but it's it's all coming back to me. Now, I probably got about 4,500 hours in Pokemon uh, red, blue, and yellow. Trainer school. Get schooled in school. Hey, kid from Palatown. How did, how did you know that? Hey, you came from Palatown? You must know Professor Oak, right? I got a delivery for him, but I can't leave the Pokemart unattended. Can I get you to take this from to Professor Oak for me? Okay. I mean, that's easy enough. Yes. So, like, the thing is, dude, like, we have a postal service, so... Why do I have to do this for you? Hmm? <laughs> Goodness me, Pikachu here seems like it's really come to be a true partner to you, Gary. I think you've got what it takes to be a great Pokemon trainer. Well, except for, uh, could work on my technique when I'm throwing the balls a little bit. You handed the professor his parcel. Oh, so my order arrived. Thank you for bringing it to me. You know, in in this culture, it's customary grease the palm a little bit. You know what I mean? Whoa, Gary, that's so cool. Pikachu just rides on you like that. <laughs> ah, now we have Daniel as well. What fine timing. I've just been delivered some very handy items, which I think I'll share with the two of you. You got some red. I already have my own raspberries. My catching pocket is just bursting. Oh, Ryu 89. Thank you as well. I'll stop you right there, son. Those berries are for Pokemon to eat, not you. When you want to catch a Pokemon, try throwing one of those at your target before you take a Pokeball in hand. You'll find that wild Pokemon will be so happy to have a berry to nibble on that they'll become much easier for you to catch. That was close. I nearly swallowed one of them right up myself. <laughs> It's up to you to decide if you want to catch lots of different Pokemon or simply focus on training up your favorites. My only request is that you have fun either way. <laughs> Alright, well, maybe I'll get the chance to meet many Pokemon. Professor, if I don't have to deliver your packages all day. 